and welcome back to Digimon World. I'm Elf 94 and this is Jax. And in the last episode, we entered the digital world and began training our good friend Jax here. I know I said that I was going to finish my training off screen and get my stats up to a thousand. However, I'm very paranoid in case he ends up digivolving. You see, rookies tend to take about three days, and as far as I'm aware, we are on the third day. So, just want to be careful and make sure he's not going to digivolve off screen. I'll, I hate myself forever if you guys miss the first digivolution of this Let's Play. So, I need one more. If he hasn't digivolved by then, then we can just carry on. Alright, well now we just need to keep our fingers crossed that RNG is going to give us a grey mod. Because there's not much else I can do to help it now. Unless I can get my discipline gauge up to 90%, which I don't think is going to happen. Whoa! Two Argamons? What? Now? Okay, let's fight! Here we go, the first fight of the game. Against another Argamon. All right, here we go. Give it all you got. For a second then, I lost track of which one was mine. All right, doing good, doing good. Oh, he's defending. As you can see, underneath my health and MP bar, Letters are starting to appear. That is your finish move. And we kicked its ass. Good work, Jax. Sonic Jab learned. Nice. I lost rats. I should invite him to the city. Uh, excuse me. Could you come to the city? What? City? You mean that old place? Well, uh, um, well, okay, I'm Agumon. Nice meeting you. And just like that, he runs on back to File City and joins it. All right, pays to try. I'll keep on asking. So there you have it. And he's hungry again already. God damn it, Jax. I'm hoping to recruit four Digimon in this video alone. Fingers crossed, if all goes to plan. Let's have a look around. Any mushrooms lying around? Nope, not in this area. Alright, well, let's keep on going. Alright. You also need to take one of these. Huh, that's unusual. They used, with his discipline gauge as it is, what, maybe 55%? He usually would reject something like that. Or is at least more likely to reject something. There we go, Digimushroom. We'll need to stock up on them. Right, and our second... Oh no, I'm miscounting how many screens I've crossed. Oh, <laughs> perfect timing, there you go. Right, as you can see, I'm ignoring these Digimon here. These are not recruitable Digimon, these are just wild Digimon encounters. And luckily that one did not trigger. I'm trying to save all my energy for the upcoming fights. Right, now on this screen will be our second encounter. Here we go. A flower. I'm a flower. I said I'm a flower, aren't you listening? No. Absolutely not. Alright, so our second opponent here is a Palmon. This Palmon could be a tricky little bugger. She's got some good attacks. But luckily with the training he's got and the items I've got ready, Jax here should not have a problem. There you go, that poison attack. Oh, and it got me with the poison. Which unfortunately slows me down as well as starts taking health off. And I have no items to recover status problems. So 
so we're just gonna hope have to hope for the best here. We should be alright though. I'm gonna throw a health item in ready. Ooh! Got me with that bubble blast. That is a very strong attack. And down goes Palmon. Palmon brain chip dropped. Awesome. I'll keep all of that for now. I hate fighting. In that case, come to the city. It's peaceful there. The city? Sounds like fun. I'm Palmon. You'll find me useful. Yes, we will. Palmon joins the city. So what Palmon does in the city is she actually upgrades the meat farm. Instead of three pieces of meat, we get given three pieces of giant's meat. Which are much bigger and fill your Digimon up a lot more. However, you still only get three pieces a day with the potential of five and a random chance. Alright, next area I want to go is up here. And I'm getting through these a lot quicker than I thought. The fourth one's going to take a little while to get. Because I need it to be a certain time of day. So as you saw on the screen, this is Kunamon's bed. And this little guy here, if I can talk to him. Excuse me. I'm hungry. Alright, well, have some food. That's good. Let's fight. Okay. Grateful little bugger. This one that can also be a little bit of a tough fight. He's got some strong electrical attacks. But as long as uh, Argumon here can keep him on the ropes, we should be good. I always hate this fight because it's so small and you can't see because of that tree. Okay, status effect. Oh, this is not good. Did not need that status effect. Unfortunately, there you go, you can see what the effect is. It's actually turned me 2D. Can't remember the name of that actual effect itself. Alright, come on, Agumon, get back in the fight. Alright, as you see, the finishing move's ready, but I need to get my timing right. Alright, let's go for it. Come on, charge up power, charge up power. Pepper Breath! Boom! Don't mess with me. Kunimon MP chip drops. Nice. Now what these chips do are actually instantly boost up your stats. This isn't good, what should I do? Come to the city and work off what you eat. Okay, I'll do that. I'm an insectoid Digimon named Kunamon. Nice meeting you. And Kunamon joins the city. Now, it's not clear straight away what Kunamon does, but it's actually a very little helpful thing. But I'll go into that later when I can actually show you guys. Now, the problem I've got is the area I wanted to go to next, I'm, it's too early to be going there. So, I need to decide what to do next. Um, hmm. I suppose I could... I've not got the items to go do another Digimon fight that I wanted to go do. So I'm going to have to wait for the next episode for that one. I don't really want to train anymore. I want to try and leave the stats as they currently are for now. I need his discipline gauge to go up more. That's what I could really deal with. So I suppose we'll get some more fights done and earn a bit of money. Because trust me, are we going to need it? Alright. Madoki Betamon, this is my territory. Not for long.
Go get him, Argamon. I suppose there's one area I could go to try and learn a new technique. Because your Digimon not only learns techniques by doing the studying training, but by also fighting Digimon with the techniques it can learn. Wow, this guy is blocking hard. Oh, that's not good. I hate that bubble attack. Now, the problem I've got now is I haven't got the health or the items to be going off to try and learn this new technique because it's a very powerful move. And if they hit me with it, it's going to hurt. So I'm actually going to head back to Gigi Mon's house and rest up a bit to try and get my health and stuff back up. Which is a shame because I would have liked to have gone and learned this technique. Down here is the bottom area of uh, File City. Right, Kunimon here actually ate a bush that was here. Yes, I know, we told him to come and work off what he ate, and what did he do? He ate more. But it's actually very useful, it opens up the path to the right of File City. But we'll be using that later on. But I just thought I'd show you guys whilst I'm on the way. For now, let's get back up into Gigi Mon's house and have a rest. Which, of course, will advance the time ready to help me so I can go do this next bit I want to do. Actually, let me just quickly check my guide and double check what the time needs to be. Let's also give you some food. Oh, God, now I need to go to the toilet. Right, I think I should be safe to start making my way to where I want to go. I shouldn't need to worry too much about fighting. I'm not planning on fighting anything on the way. And this next Digimon, we don't actually have to fight it to recruit it. Not all Digimon require to be beaten. Some will voluntarily join the city. Some you'll need to perform a certain task. And for this one, you basically end up having to speak to it twice. So the area we actually really need to head back to is uh, Kunamon's bed. Now I could have actually taken the path that Kunamon himself opened up for us, I think. However, um, it's much safer for me to be going this way. Whilst my Digimon's not at full strength, I'd rather take the safer option. At least until I have more items available. Is it this side I want? Yes, because there's that red Vegemon. So this screen should take me to Kunamon's bed. Awesome. Actually, there's a couple more. There's an... I was going to say a, cu a couple more. But one of them is a risky one to go for. As you can see, I picked up a happy mushroom there. What this item is, is it boosts happiness, but it's risky. It can make your Digimon ill, which is why you have things like bandages and medicine. Your Digimon can get hurt during a fight, and you'll need to use a bandage on it. Or, it'll become sick, and you need to use a medicine bottle. Okay, I've come here a bit too early, which is unfortunate. 
However, I'm hoping that the next time the hour hand moves, it will be the right time. So, I'm just going to hold up here for a second. And check up on some stuff. Alright, so, the next digimon I go for is peers between 3 and 7 in the afternoon and evening. Can never tell what time it is by this clock. You need to wait off screen because otherwise the Digimon itself won't appear, I think, whilst you're actually on screen. Which is kind of a pain. Alright, okay, let's give it a go. Hopefully it is now gone 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, and a Digimushroom appeared. So that was kind of helpful. Please be there. There he is. Meet Coelamon. Hey, are you a human? I'm Coelamon, the fish Digimon. Did you come to see me? Uh, yes, we looked all over. Haha, is that so? The bridge upstream is broken and you want to go across, right? I'll see. Fine, I'll help you. Now walk on our heads, don't worry. Right, as Quellamon's just said, the bridge upstream is actually broken, so this is our only way across at the moment. This world needs more teamwork, let's meet again. And this leads us to the tropical jungle. Now that we've come over here, the bridge itself is actually fixed, which is why I want to go back and talk to Coelamon again. Because now the bridge is fixed, if we go and talk to it again, it knows the bridge is fixed and offers to come to the city instead. Right, so the next area we are going to is just, we're quickly nipping up this way. I'm actually going to be recruiting quite a few Digimon. I actually miscounted how many I was going to get. Because there's another little Digimon up here that we can just recruit just like that. A very helpful little Digimon. And there he is. Vedamon! Something came back to life. Huh? I used to live in the city. You smell like the city. Wow. It's scary, I left the city and lost my memory, but thanks to you I remember everything. I'm going back to the city, okay? Of course, I'm sure the city is now more lively than before. Really? Alright, I'll try my best. And just like that, Betamon's going to head off to the city. And he's actually the first person to join the item shop. Because Betamon has now joined the city, the item shop will be open. Coelamon also joins the item shop, so you could recruit Coelamon first to open the item shop. And later on you'll find more Digimon to join it and improve it, basically. Now, this next area... See, I have a media... I, I, you are, I'm gonna leave it. The next area requires possibility of needing a lot of health. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. I think these guys are actually fairly strong. Uh-oh. Let's just get an idea. Yep, fuck that. If that's your main attack, I'm out of here. We are not ready for that. Wow. Alright, let's try and not get hit by that guy this time. And I need to hurry up, or I'm not going to make it to Quella in time. So come on, Jax, let's get a move on. And try and not run into any more battles. Because we are just not ready. Oh, a bridge. There you go, the bridge is fixed. 
no idea who fixed it or how they fixed it so damn quick. As soon as you enter the, enter the tropical jungle, though, the bridge fixes itself. And this actually takes us to the right-hand side of Fall City. Right here is the path that Kunamon opened up for us. So we have a quick way back here. And now that the bridge is open, the Digimon that would have been roaming this area are no longer here, making it a much safer way to go. Alright, back at Kunamon's bed, almost ready to go get Koalamon. Just run on past that guy for now. And hopefully you're still here. There he is. Oh, it's you, LPM. The bridge is fixed. I hear you're making a city. I've got a request. I want you to help me, just like I helped you. Huh? Making a city means saving this wall, this island. Everyone will be saved. Does that mean you'll come to the city? Yes, I'll go to your city. Quellamon joins the city and joins up with Baitamon to run the item shop. Now let's get back... Oh, you need to sleep, do you? I tell you what, we're not that far. I'm sure you can hold out until we're at least in File City. Because I'd rather not sleep out here if you're going to pooping. There is a reason why I avoid letting my Digimon go toilet outside the bathroom. Um, I'll quickly go to Digimon. There is a bar at the bottom there with VIR for virus. The more times your Digimon goes to the bathroom when it's not at the toilet, the more that bar fills up. If you max it out, you get stuck with a Sukumon, which is basically a giant turd. And he's hungry. Even more reason for me to make sure you get to the bathroom, because you're more likely now do want to poop when you wake up. See, he already wants to poop. God damn it. See, I made the right choice. Christ. Needy Digimon is needy. I want to sleep. I want to eat. I want to poo. Worse than a baby. Alright, there's the item shop. I'd like to show you more in a minute, but I've got things to be doing. But they will sell basic stuff at the moment, but as you add more to the shop, they'll start selling more items. But for now, they'll include your basic, small recoveries, your MP recoveries, and meat. They will actually sell you food, which is going to be the most useful thing right now. Alright, let's get a quick save in. Really thought he'd have digivolved by now. Or at least hoped he'd have digivolved by now. Maybe I counted the days wrong. I swear that was the third day. Although he's age three now, so maybe I was wrong. That's Pound One just basically explaining. Oh! I've got too many items. Well, there is something we can do about that. See, Argamon came and opened up the item bank, or item keeper. Basically, it's a place where you can store any items that you do not require to be carrying around with you. Alright, so, we can put away that happy mushroom, we don't need that. I don't need to be carrying around both bandages. Put the brain chip and MP chip away for now, because I don't want to be using them yet. And... I suppose that'll do for now. I'll organise that off screen because it's going to take a little while just to organise it how I want it. We will also get an item later on that will allow us to carry more items. As you can see we can only hold 10 slots which is really not a lot when you think about how many items and food you're going to end up needing. 
Right, there we go. We have three pieces of giant meat for you now, Ogamon. Now, was there anything else I wanted to try and do? Honestly, I think we're pretty much done for this episode. I suppose I can go show you the shop before I end up. Because I do need to buy some items. Right, here you go. Here's the shop. Well, what do you think? We decided to help each other and sell these items. Right, let's buy five of them. Three of them. And a bunch of meat. What else do you have for sale at the minute? Uh, various, that could be useful to buy. And an auto, do you know what? I'm gonna buy an autopilot. Oops. I uh, might just spend my last couple hundred bits. Just get more health. Right, and that auto autopilot I just picked up is actually an item that will instantly return you to this city. As you can imagine, on this adventure, we're going to be going quite far away from this place. So it's helpful to have a way to just zip on back when needed. However, that will do for this episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to leave a like and a comment and consider subscribing for more videos. But for now, I've been Alpine Marsh 94. This is Jax, and thank you for watching.